Hello students, welcome to the session of Visual Merchandising with me Vandana. So, in today's session we will discuss about the steps involving in executing a floor plan from the competency install the display. So, let's start the topic today. So in today's session, the lesson objective is to outline the steps in executing the floor plan. Today we will basically introduce to the concepts of a floor plan. So what is a floor plan? A floor plan is basically a representation of an area in terms of length and breadth or sometimes it is also represented in the form of square feet which is seen from overhead. So a floor plan area basically represents the area from the overhead view. So, a floor plan enables a person to experiment with the platform and this helps in the proper execution of the work. It is also done in the scale form plan which means it has been divided into the length, breadth and width of an area or in a square feet of an area. The key objective of a floor plan is product positioning. As you know, if we place the right product in the right place, it can generate the sales revenue. Therefore, placing a product in the right place plays a very crucial role in a retail floor plan. Look at this image. If you see this image, you will find that there is an entry point which is highlighted in red color. This entry point is usually the entry point of a customer. When a customer enters through the entry point, the area nearby the entry point is often referred as the platinum zone. Again, there is a gold zone which is adjacent to the platinum zone. Beyond the gold zone lies the silver zone and beyond the silver zone lies the bronze zone. This zoning is often done so that the customer footfall is being utilized in the area. And according to the zoning of the area, the price is been set up in the retail store floor. Therefore, the area in the platinum zone or the gold zone are much higher than the silver or bronze zone. So you can say that the least area is the bronze zone, which is higher than comes the silver zone area then comes the gold zone area and lastly the platinum zone area. Also sometimes the focal point of a store is also priced higher because this is a main center of attraction for the customer. So, I hope with the diagram it was easy for you to know the space area and these are the definitions. Platinum space is the first area of a store or the prime selling area of a store. Whereas gold space is the second as you walk through the store and it is often the second best area. Then is the silver space which is the third and bronze area is at the back of the store. Mainly, the price are set 
according to the area classification. Also in a retail store, this space setting can help generate revenue in a different way. Basically, the platinum space is utilized to focus the prime product of a store. Then, in the gold space, the second best options are always utilized. So, in today's session, we have just explained the flow plan concept in a retail store. Next, we will be outlining the steps which are involved in executing a flow plan in the part 2. So, keep watching the video and, and thank you for watching it.